Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. As soon as I come into Walmart here, we see they got the four pound oranges for $4.98. Been seeing better deals on oranges lately. It's a little high for Walmart. Do notice up front and center here, they have a rollback offer on the Gala Apples. They've had this rollback for a while. $3.50 for... $3.53 for a three pound bag. Another item that looks like it's, you know, it's just the same price. $3.97 is what the regular price is for a five pound bag of uh, russet potatoes here. So I don't know if they just had extra to put out here. They do have the seedless lemons here for $2.98. I believe these are the two pound bags. I like just right now, this is one pound. Wow, one pound for $2.98. So this is what I've been saying, guys. I've been saying this for a while. We're continuing to see onion prices go up. We've seen them come down in some stores, but look at this. Three-pound bag of sweet onions here. Three-pound bag for $4.28. Uh, red onions have been $3.28 for a three-pound bag here, which is okay. But we noticed that the white onions, which were the same price, went up to $3.68. Find a good deal on onions. You may want to buy up some extra. They do have a rollback offer on the pineapples, though. These were $2.28 the last time we were here. As you can see, $2.28 down to $1.84, so a little bit of a deal. They've got the cutie mandarins here for $3.98 for the three pound. But look at this, five pounds, still $6.68. Somebody was saying in one of our last videos that they had a rollback offer on the five pound bags of Halos. Um, no, not here, $6.68. I will say grapes have dropped in price a little bit. We saw this the last time, but they had been 208 for a while, and that was down from 238. $1.68 now for the green and red seedless grapes. Not bad. We continue to get comments on previous videos about the great value bread going up in price. Yes, it's been $1.32 here for a while, and I know that was up from $1.10. Hate to see this go so high up in price but i did want to point out the sarah lee bread here two dollars and 48 cents for the honey wheat we get a lot of comments on this 449 regular price at kroger which is insane and they have the uh 100 whole wheat here for two dollars and 74 cents i mean that's that's pretty good for sarah lee we were talking about Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches the other day, and someone said they haven't been able to find the great value ones. They do have them here. I noticed that they did go up in price, though. These were $4.98 last year uh, when we couldn't find them anywhere. And then we saw them go up to $5.28. Now we're noticing $5.78. So maybe that's what's happening. Uh, they, they go away for a little bit, and then they come back at a higher price. What do you got here? Something new to try? Yeah. Oh. See here, some Fiesta Twist Cinnamon Churro El Paso, huh? Oh, these are new. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So I'm just playing this they off. They look pretty cool. I, I knew she had them. <laughs> I'm the one who told, I'm the one that said get them both. And soon I won't have any more grays. <laughs> yes, Jessica's mom does her hair for us, so save a fortune Probably there. Probably shouldn't use this stuff, but whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> what? I don't have to oh. pay $85 to go to the salon. That's right. Yes. Prepping up for our Tennessee trip here in a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. I feel like I should also say that Kroger has a digital coupon on the Jimmy Dean 8-count breakfast sandwiches going on right now for $7.99. Regular price at Kroger, $12.99. $12.99 for an 8-count of these at Kroger. $10.98 regular price here at Walmart. So way better here for the regular price. Some of this stuff, I just cannot believe the prices at Walmart. Now, we've been seeing store brand products go up on, like, their frozen potato products. Two-pound tater tots, great value, great value, $3.32. These were $2.98. Not long ago at all. We've seen, we continue to see these go up. This is why I was saying we'll probably see them go up again at Kroger because they're high. Kroger's is $2.99, and that does include their fries, too. 332 is the magic number on the great value frozen potato products. It's everywhere. Probably the cheapest place to get the Orita fries, though. They are 528, 599 at Kroger and 549 at Meyer. So definitely the cheapest place for this brand. 
We've gotten a lot of comments over the last couple weeks on Walmart's frozen vegetables going up in price. Yes, every one of these has gone up to 98 cents, except for the mixed vegetables. For whatever reason, they are still 88 cents, but any of the cut green beans, 98 cents, peas, 98 cents. Uh, they do have the broccoli cuts here somewhere. Okay, the broccoli florets. These went up too to 98 cents. Um, yeah, you know, everything keeps going up, guys. Well, guys, I keep putting the warning out there. We constantly get comments on it. I hope those who are leaving comments are starting to stock up a little bit on some dry rice and dry beans. This has been an issue all over Cincinnati, Ohio here. We've been seeing a lot of runs on this kind of stuff. So maybe a good idea to stock up a little bit. Uh, we've been getting comments of some, some of your stores across the country being completely wiped out on some of this. So... It's definitely something that people are starting to stock up on or they're just not getting it in i mean i i hope i hope it's people stocking up on it and then they just need to get it in but i don't know this is one of them things people have been mentioning that uh you know we may have a shortage of this year so just want to put that out there don't want people to panic buy or anything like that but just something to keep in mind when you come to the store we get a lot of comments especially on rice um you know and for walmart to be this low it's crazy looking now this could be an instance where you know there we have been seeing the prices really start to skyrocket on rice and dry beans so it could be an instance where it goes away for a while and comes back at a higher price get, get good comments on this uh great value white rice instant white rice here 288 for this uh one pound 12 ounce box 28 ounces and then 438 here for the 42 ounce box they also have the minute rice over here we got some comments on macaroni and cheese um not much of a savings here at walmart but i will say the great value uh it did go up they i know these were 42 cents a box now 50 cents a box so you know we're continuing to see store brand products starting to go up in price again found some different packages of some party wings here we've gotten good comments on great value party wings and kroger four pounds here for twelve dollars and 98 cents um it's not the worst we've seen they do have an eight pound bag here for 23 dollars and 96 cents so depending on how big of a party you're having i remember somebody was asking about these the last time i was here they did not have them these are the five pound bags of frozen chicken breast here for $14.86. Yeah, it's been a while since our Walmart's had them too. So I wonder if Walmart even knows what the price of ramen is anymore. They are $3.68 if you're curious, but I noticed they've taken all the stickers down. Some good regular prices on Progresso and Campbell's Chunky Soup though. $2.26 for Campbell's and $2.18 for Progresso. I would definitely take a photo of this. We've been seeing Progresso and Campbell's go way up in price lately. So we got some comments that egg prices were starting to go up a little bit again. Uh, still pretty cheap here on the 60 count eggs. $10.72. That is up from $10.48 the last time we were here. So only up about a quarter. Hopefully it doesn't go up too much. Let's check out some of the other ones here. They've got, uh, let's see, the 36 count for $6.52. Still $2.20 for a 12 count. And let's see, 18 count, no price. So it is Saturday, March 18th. I did want to point this Yoplait yogurt out. We got a comment on Yoplait the other day. $4.36 here for eight cups. It's the blueberry and mixed berry mix. They have this one here too, but these are like $5.99 pretty much everywhere else. So good deal on that. They have challenge butter here. For four dollars and ninety-seven cents, we've seen that go back up to six dollars in some places. Land O'Lakes on a rollback for four ninety-eight, and for that price, I would oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, great value butter is back down to three dollars and ninety-eight cents for the salted and unsalted. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> I don't like Walmart. Uh, yeah, it's kind of. I don't like our Walmart. Yeah. It's crazy town in here. It is nuts. We finally got a little bit of a breathing room over here. <laughs> cheese, cheese is all the same prices. Uh, I'm glad to see that hasn't gone up. Kerry Gold is only four dollars and eighteen cents here. It's a good uh, place to get it. Jess, look at this. 
How could you go through all this sour cream? I could easily. I've never seen a Daisy sour cream that big. That's awesome. That Actually, they have a bigger one at Sam's. Do they really? Yeah, it's like this big around. <laughs> Can you guys tell Jess loves her Daisy sour cream? I do. It's delicious. That's a huge thing of it, though. That, I feel like we would never be able to get through Speaking something. Of, that I big. should probably buy one. Yeah, this is what we get. I like the squeezy one because it's just easier. Right. Yeah, and it's easy to put in the fridge, as most of you guys know. Our fridge is completely full, which is a good thing. But, yeah. So we did get a couple more comments on uh, for us to check out some iced coffee. Walmart does have a pretty decent amount here. About the same price as it is everywhere else, though. But I will say the Calafia Farms uh, is a lot cheaper. We've been seeing this go up to $5.99 also in some stores. $4.54 here in the Stoke I saw at Meyer they had for $5.99, $5.58 here. But yeah, yeah, if you like your uh, cold coffee, they have it. They do have their Walmart chocolate milk, but we've been getting comments on True Moo chocolate milk. Haven't been able to find it anywhere, guys. I don't know. It's completely wiped out everywhere I go. I'm always looking for it, but yeah, they're pretty much completely out. Well, okay, what is this? Is this like a fat-free version or something? Low fat? Yeah. Okay, so they got that one in. So who knows? Uh, prices are still the same. So maybe they'll come back in. Hopefully not at a higher price. It's already pretty expensive. We're always getting comments on the uh, different almond milks. And they do have, you know, a little bit. Not as much as a lot of other stores, though. But I did want to point out, we've got some good comments about the great value almond milks here. They have the original and the vanilla and these are $2.44 for these. So I did want to point out on the Ice Mountain Spring Water. We've been getting more and more comments on this lately. You get 35 bottles here for $6.98. $5.99 at Kroger and most other places for $24. So you're spending an extra dollar and getting nine more bottles of water. Now at Sam's Club, you know, they've got the 40 pack for 664, which is the best deal. But I understand a lot of people don't have Sam's Club memberships. This is the way to go if you don't. So we've had some comments that sugar at Walmart has dropped in price. Uh, not here. Still $6.48 for the 10 pounds of great value sugar and $2.94 for a four pound bag. That's crazy. We've been seeing sugar drop way in price lately. You would think Walmart would too, but actually they're kind of low on sugar too still three dollars and 83 cents for a five pound bag of gold metal flour here 449 pretty much everywhere else six dollars and 43 cents for a five pound bag they do have some other options here their organic all-purpose flour this is four dollars and 98 cents the keto wheat baking flour eight dollars and 88 cents for that um yeah, a little pricey, but we always get comments on different uh, keto options. And uh, found the uh, Nature's Eats, the original almond nut flour here, $17.28. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Uh, four pounds? Yeah, $17.28. What's this one? Oh, that's for this. Okay. So, yeah. That's a... Uh, I don't know. I feel like that's an okay deal. Usually these are right around $21, $22 for a four pound bag of almond flour. So it is a rollback offer. So a little bit cheaper. Doesn't say on here what the original price was. It's kind of curious. This is the one I was looking for. It was the great value almond flour uh, for gluten free baking. Perfect for gluten free baking. Uh, $9.84 for this one. This is the one somebody was asking about. This is a two pound bag though. Uh, it's on a rollback from $9.84 down from $10.98. Hello. <laughs> oh, I wanted to point out the Domino Sugar, yes, is still $4.33 here. Cheaper than it is anywhere else though. $4.49 is the going price pretty much at every other store I shop at. Um, $8.36 for the 10 pound bags of Domino, but they never have them. Uh, $5.64 for the shrink-flated, three and a half ounce. You're basically paying for the plastic here. If you were one of the ones that commented about Equal, um, we've had a few comments over the last few weeks on Equal. Looks like some stores, it's hard to find. Uh, always seem to find it here at Walmart, though, so I wanted to point it out. 
uh, $5.92 for 250 packets and $11.52 for 800 packets. It's pricey, but at least I get it in. Um, and yeah, it's hard to find in a lot of different stores. We saw it at Kroger the other day, uh, but there wasn't much. Well, I noticed my contact solution just went up. The two pack here that I usually get went from $5.98 to $6.38. Still cheaper than anywhere else on the planet though, so just another price increase. Okay, so we've gotten a few comments uh, from people all around the country here that peanut butter has been very low. Doesn't look low here yet, but we've seen uh, peanut butter in short supply over the last year or so, so it's definitely something we need to keep an eye on. Um, let's see, Jif was one you were asking about. Two seventy-six dollars here for the one pound. 16 ounces here, $2.76. And then they have the 40 ounces here for six seventy-eight. dollars so a little cheaper than Kroger, not much. But, yeah, I mean, it's definitely lower than normal here. Just checking out some of the canned goods here. Somebody asked if I could find the asparagus spears. Uh, they do have them here. Drained. Always look at the drained, not with the water. Uh, eight and a half ounces. Uh, $2.98 for that. Um, yeah, we've gotten a few comments on these. It's, they're hard to find. They, they sell out pretty quick, so they must be good. Now they do have the Green Giant. Rare that we see an item more expensive on Green Giant than Del Monte. Del Monte's $3.48 here, $4.98 for the Green Giant. Um, but the one thing I wanted to point out here, something that everyone has been searching for, is canned mushrooms. Look at the prices on these though, you guys are right. These are skyrocketing in price. It's probably what we're gonna see at Kroger, guys, and everywhere else that doesn't have them in right now. They're trying to figure out how they're gonna charge more. $2.54 at Walmart for this little teeny tiny can of mushrooms is ridiculous. Uh, let's see. So do they charge the... Wow. Okay, so same price for this one. Because this is the pieces and stems for a bigger can than just the sliced. So you're going to pay the same amount for this one as you do this one. And they have the... Okay, so the little teeny tiny cans of the pieces and stems here are only $1.50. But if you want them just sliced... You're gonna spend an extra dollar or four. So Jess found something really cool here. Yeah, something got, new. They're pockets. So So you just put all your stuff inside of here and hold it and it doesn't like it's not open at the bottom, so it's no not mess. messy. Oh. So you can just eat it kinda like a walking like walk and taco sandwich thing almost. Yeah. But they're like little cones almost. That's so interesting. You just put your stuff in there. But We're gonna try that. Cool to try, yeah. So you'll probably be cooking tacos this week tacos. with some of the meat that we got from Costco. Maybe some people would want to watch that video. Maybe that'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody pointed out to me that they had some rollback offers on the corn and green beans of the great value. They sure do. And peas. Or no, that's just green beans. 50 cents. 50 cents a can, guys. Time to stock up. That is awesome. 50 cents a can, 58 cents a can for some of them um but still good deal guys i have a feeling these are going to be going up especially when we start seeing more and more of these kind of things smaller cans of del monte they're bringing in for 98 cents a can now they've had these for a while but it's like you're you're not really getting a good deal i, I can understand if you're not going to eat a bunch you know you don't want to spend the extra 38 cents or whatever i get it but i mean these are a dollar these are a dollar a can this week at kroger so stock up on these when you find them for a dollar and then you're not you know, buying these little teeny tiny cans for a dollar. That seems to be pretty crazy. So I just saw this here. Somebody was asking if I see the mixed vegetables of the Great Value brand. Um, it's funny that you said that because I remember that it, these have been gone for a while. These have been. Haven't been able to find the cans of mixed vegetables. They are here. To be fair, they used to be down here in this bottom corner. So I may have just missed them. But you may want to check your Walmart. Maybe they moved theirs up here too and you're just not used to the spot. They are 88 cents a can. But I do like these mixed vegetables. They are pretty good. We got a lot of comments on Bush's baked beans the other day when we pointed them out at Kroger. $2.69 for the big cans at Kroger. $2.48 here regular price so a little bit better and the smaller cans are uh 214 instead of 249 so good deal on that too guys they still have their four cans of great value we see these starting to get bought up all the time though nine dollars and 98 cents for the four cans of chunk chicken breast i mean 
best deal around and it's good quality like we get a lot of great comments on that one uh the swanson here i think is three yeah 398 for one here um you know and 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 honestly this is cheaper than a lot of other places we've seen them go up to 449 599 again regular price at kroger i thought that was a mistake but if you look online it is that price um, and they do have some of the Keystone meats. Looks like the rollback offers over, but some of the prices here are better than others. Keystone chicken, $8.52 for the beef, $9.22. You can't find, or no, this is the pork, $9.22. The beef, $9.98. But this is $10.49 to $10.99 everywhere else, so good deal here. You might be able to get this online and save you maybe a huge shipping fee. Because uh, Keystone meats, if you order straight from them, their shipping cost is ridiculous. Just checking out some of the albacore down there. She loves her tuna. And by the way, they still have their tuna creation packets here for a dollar a piece. You know, these are a dollar sixty nine at Kroger. Mm -hmm. They're on, they're on sale for a dollar at Kroger right now, but that's what the regular price is going to be. Regular price on these here was a dollar forty nine, but they don't even have the regular price stickers up here anymore. But uh, honey barbecue. I don't know. We get a lot of good comments on the great value ones too, and they're only eighty cents mixed reviews on some of these different great value you know the roast beef here someone had told me they went up that these were 348 now they're 374 um i i do know that the pulled pork went up these were 398 went up to 412 so another price increase here but um don't know much about the road we've gotten mixed reviews on the roast beef somebody was saying that the pulled pork wasn't that good um and this is the butterfield roast beef don't know anything about this one let me know down in the comments if you've tried this one and if it's any good four dollars and 16 cents for 12 ounces somebody had said that the denti more canned goods went up at walmart they did they've been these prices for a while though i know these these went up from 228 to 258 but it's been a long time at least here at our walmart and these are still better prices than most stores the uh 15 ounce i think here 20 ounce 20 ounce that's 15 no yeah 15 ounces uh the uh 20 ounce here 312 at walmart and yes these were 298 went up to three dollars and 12 cents 349 everywhere else and the big cans here i don't remember the size 38 ounces of it here so you can feed a few people 38 ounces for five dollars and 72 cents this is up from 548 but and these used to be 528 like a year ago. They've really gone up. But 649 pretty much everywhere else. So still a good deal. Another thing that we've seen to continuously go up everywhere has been these Nor rice and pasta sides. Dollar twelve here at Walmart, guys. I mean, that is a good deal. They're delicious. They are good. Jess loves them. Um, I like them too. Um, dollar twelve is a good price. Cheapest I've seen on them is a dollar twenty-five on sale pretty much anywhere else. These have been going up to a dollar thirty-nine pretty much everywhere. So, another item here that is still a good price at Walmart. So, just to make sure, I wanted to check this middle aisle here. I saw it on my way in, but I didn't see the price. They are still three sixty-eight, which is up from three twenty-eight. But they've taken the signs down for the prices in the aisles. I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't go up again. 368 here at Walmart. 379. Well, no, they're 368 at Kroger with a locked in low price, too. So this might be a ramen thing. Maybe that's maybe they've raised their prices, but they don't want places to charge more than 368 because that seems to be the magic number. Somebody had mentioned that the steaks at Walmart had skyrocketed in price. Yes, they have been constantly. They do have, yeah, ribeyes here. 1397 a pound. Like, that, it, I, it's just crazy. These $13.97 a pound, apparently they got some T-bone, $11.97 a pound. But to be fair, steak prices have been going up everywhere. But to see these higher prices at Walmart, it's pretty ridiculous. People are even buying up this hamburger, guys, because it's a decent price. 10-pound rolls of it here. It's so a 73% here, 80% here. $29.88 for 10 pounds. So that makes it... Uh, about three dollars a pound right about three dollars a pound but we've been seeing hamburger prices go up you know we've been saying this for the last couple months that even here you know we saw steak go up initially but now we're starting to see hamburger go up a little bit more still the same price here at walmart but people know this people know that's why they're buying it up usually this was completely packed a month ago while hamburger prices were pretty much the same everywhere 
I don't buy pork from Walmart usually, um, but the prices here are pretty much the same as they are everywhere else. Plus, this is the uh, Smithfield. Not a fan of Smithfield. Four sixty-eight a pound. Three ninety-eight a pound. I mean, come on. That's supposed to be the cheapest out there, and it's the most expensive. Walmart does carry the butterball turkey, ground turkey. It's like one of the only places we can find it. Uh, if you, I know some people are asking about Purdue. We always see some Purdue at Kroger. Um, butterball's pretty expensive. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Five forty-three a pound for the eighty-five lean seems pretty expensive. Six six or uh, let's see, where's the ninety-three percent? Uh, maybe they don't even have it. Here we go. It was upside down. Got the extra lean, 97%. So they don't even have the 93. I would probably prefer the 93 over 97. $6.14 for this. Eh, about the same price as it is everywhere for 97% lean. But I don't know. I do like Butterball. But yeah, this, this stuff continues to go up. I think it may be hard for Walmart to compete in the chicken market because we see Tyson do deals with other grocery stores like the buy two, get one free, or buy one, get one free. Uh, because like some of the, like even the regular prices here, that's some, these are just the chicken winglets, which that's funny. I've never seen these here at Walmart before. $5.76 a pound though. Uh, $4.28 a pound for just some wings. I mean, you know, the prices here are pretty ridiculous on, on pretty much all meat except for hamburger. I almost feel like, uh, I almost said Sam's Club. I almost feel like Walmart raised these prices right before Lent because these were $9.48 a pound. So they're up a dollar more a pound. And even the slice cuts they've raised... Some of these, like the Atlantic salmon there was $10.98 a pound. That is now $12.28 a pound. That is ridiculous. Jeez. I mean, they do, you know, they got it. They got some cod here, $6.91 a pound for that. Um, the cod is pretty good. I mean, I've had cod from Walmart here before. I mean, it, it wasn't bad. Um, but still, yeah. Some of these prices, guys. I mean, when you see these, if you see these prices at Kroger, it doesn't surprise me too much. When you see them here at Walmart, it's like, oof, crazy. Well, guys, that was our trip to Walmart. It is cold outside. Yeah. It is like 28, 29 degrees. Well, maybe not that cold. I don't know, but it's well, very, very windy. windy. Um, guys, prices continue to go up everywhere. No exception for Walmart. Meat prices are getting ridiculous. I'm sure their hamburger prices are going to be going up just like everywhere else. Uh, again, just just plan a little bit ahead, you know. Have a have a strategy, you know. If, if you're going shopping at like Kroger or something, make sure you do your digital coupons and all that stuff. But you know, Walmart, you pretty much you're at the will of the rollback. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope it helps, guys. Um, with all that being said, we are out. And always remember, the adventure is, is out, out there. See ya.